Hey guys, welcome back to WP Event Manager. In this video, we're gonna talk about how to translate page, post, or custom post using WPML Translation Management. Previously, in our videos, we installed WPML plugin and its dependency plugins to make our site multilingual or localize it. And we showed you how to set up the WPML plugin as well. So today we're gonna take this a bit further and I'll show you how to translate pages, posts and custom posts. So let's go ahead and get started. Firstly, we need to go inside WPML, then translation management. So from here, we can manage our translations. We can edit our translations. We can view all the translations as well. So you will find a lot of uh, filters over here to choose from to filter your uh, translation types or translation topics you wanna translate. So as you can see, we have a title type and date and then our translation flag. So this is not your main language or the language you have available in the website to translate for. You will see a marker right below that. So it indicates if the topic or the page is translated or not. And from here, you can leave a note for the translator as well. So that's the dashboard over here for WPML and from top up here, you will see some filter that you can filter out these topics over here. So you saw how it looks uh, one item when it's not translated. Previously, I went ahead and created one translation for the card page. So as you can see, there is a green mark right below the flag. So it says uh, the translation language is complete. So that's how it looks when you have done a translation for a page. So right now it's showing all the pages for translation. You can see like post, block, event, organizer, venue as well for translation, right? Let's keep page as of now and we will go ahead with the demonstration. So let's say we're gonna translate my accounts and our event dashboard. So now what we can do, we can scroll down. We will see uh, there's just translation options, all languages, either it's translate, duplicate content or do nothing so these are pretty self-explanatory so if you want to translate these files you can go ahead and click on add selected content to the translation basket so then we will see the translation basket tab has a content awaiting for us from here we will see some statistics as well so such as the title of the page or type the status and the languages so since we are translating from English to Bengali so that shows up over here and words to translate right let's see all these items for translation but this will take like a few seconds to complete depending on your uh, queue or queue items over here so now we can go to our translation queue as you can see we have uh, two items over here awaiting for translation so this translate over here the card page I already told you about that that I did that for a test purpose so now we can click over here that take and translate button to translate this page so this is actually WPML's advanced translator instead of the simple translator it makes our life a lot easier trust me when I say that so as you can see we have user interface over here so from here you can even translate these files or the words automatically but that for you need to buy some words so that's a paid service for WPML and you can even view original file from here as well send feedback to WPML and you can see source over here and target over here as well so you can switch to different like modes over here the view mode and so the words or the sentences will appear over here on the left hand side and you will be able to translate them on the right hand side so as you can see we have just one string over here so that's just my account we can click over here to edit the translation we will be able to see the source over here right here in the top that will be disabled you cannot edit and we will be able to enter our translation in this checkbox over here so I have the translation for this uh, word my account into Bengali in copy to my clipboard that I can paste over here as you can see obviously when you are translating you need to type out uh, or like use some external software or like Google typing to use and type out the translation for this word over here uh, when you are doing that so I used actually Google typing to type that out in Bengali you can even use Google Translator as well and copy those words from there over here. 
so after editing the text we can check over here and then we will actually see our progress bar over here as well so it's just one string so we just completed our task otherwise like if we had like a lot of strings over here then this status bar over here would fill up gradually as you fill out and complete the translation for strings one by one so now we can click on complete that will take back us to our wordpress environment very shortly as you can see right here so after like editing the translation it takes a couple seconds to generate the files for you and you will see our translation status complete over here so now we can actually um, translate our event dashboard as well in a similar manner. so that gives you a better demonstration like how to do it as well right so let's go ahead and click on take and translate so we will see the similar user interface again so I have my translated word with me that I can paste over here and we will click on over here. So that makes our list completed and then we can complete the task once again. So since we have created all the translations for the demonstration, basically that's how you translate any post or blog or content or pages with WPML. That's the basic flow, how to do it and how to provide translation for your website. Being that said, I hope you found this video helpful, gave you a basic idea about how to work with WPML, how to provide translation for pages, blogs, posts or templates as well. Being that said, I'm Sharad saying goodbye. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.